previously on caretaker series that uh, the winner of this election is mr azu of azu action party <laughs> Come in now, eh? I have been calling you since yesterday. Yet you refuse to pick my call. Even this morning, I called you and you said you don't pick my call. And look at where you are coming, eh? Are you happy that Mr. Azu won this election in this compound, eh? Oh, okay, fine. See, we can still win this election. Yes, we can still win this election because the plan I have is that we can take Mr. Azu to court and win this election. Because I have seen this thing play out severally, just like in Imo State, uh, Nigeria where uh, the person that took fourth in the election went to court and won the case and became the governor. That is the case of uh, uh, Hope Odima and Emeka uh, Hedjora. And I believe strongly that I can still win this election. Yes! So, I want you to do whatever you need to do with the legal uh, things you need to put together. Let us go to court. I can still win this election. What a rubbish! Eh? Look at look, 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 Mr. Azu. He thinks he's not doing like this, doing like this because he just won this election. Rubbish! Huh? <laughs> The law. Why are you not saying anything? I will forgive you for spitting on my personality. <laughs> I have a meeting with my client. Cl client? Wait, Mr. Law. Who is your client in this compound? Eh? Who is? <laughs> Leonard Council. I'm Leonard sir. Uh, thank you for seeing me. My pleasure. I hope you got your return. Yes, I got the payment, sir. Okay. I want us to do amendments on the constitution on all the compounds that Arnold has in this country. I have the documents. We just follow suit. Just follow me. Thank you, sir. Boss, since morning, this young man has been sleeping. Hey, come, Mr. Man. Ma! Ma! Hey, get up from there! Since morning you have been lying down, are you alright? You are okay? Eh? Okay. You are okay and you are relaxing. So we are now your watchmen, Rabbi. So you'll be sleeping and we'll be watching you over the night. Come here, my friend. Look, 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 look at her. There's nothing somebody will not see in this head. Now done, now done. Raise your hand up. What do you even say that brought you to this place? Raise your hand up. You, you think people you are seeing here are child's men? Do you know what, what we did? Do you know the kind of thing we did outside that brought us to this place? I don't even know what you said that brought you to this place. Look at you. Don't worry me here. Don't disturb me because if you disturb me, Baba, yeah. you just give order now. You just leave her, leave her. Um, Very well, council. We just have to start. Ah, the first one. Every tenant living in all the landlord's compound will pay extra 30% on all the charges or all the levies they are to pay in the compound. Which means, if you are to pay 1,000 Naira for electricity bill, you pay extra 30%. Right? This 30%, uh, what exactly is it for? Why are you standing this way? Are you not in Nigeria? An average Nigeria pays his or her tax one way or the other. That 30% is their tax. Let them pay it. Please, put it down. Good. Noted. Yes, um, the second one. All the caretakers under appointment in all the compounds must not execute any projects without coming through me, without me supervising it. 
and all the revenues they collected from the compounds, no matter how little it is, must be submitted to me within two days of the collection. That is an order from the presidency. Who is the presidency? We are the presidency. I am the president. Honorable. Presidency, president. Are they not the same thing? No. In this administration, they are not the same thing. You see, in this administration, the presidency can take decision. They can have their board meeting and uh, pass any bill without the knowledge of the president. Eh? Now listen, the president can even react to some of the decision of the presidency. Because it's not our way. You got that clear now? Huh? But honorable, the... Will you stop asking me dirty questions? I just explained this to you and you still asking questions. You mean because I made you and I said to, to, to the president? What is your problem? Do you know the number of staff I have in my phone? I can call and make them the president. And many more of the questions from you, you'll be stopped. What is this nonsense? I will give you orders and be asking questions. So, sorry, sir. Write it down. Got it. Number four. Every member of this compound Hey, Makanja! 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 Take it for you. Hey, hey! Briati, come here! Briati, come here! It's like you're very stupid. The boss has not eaten and you want to eat. You want me to slap the hell out of you? See, let me tell you. Everybody you see here, eh, we have done one big thing or the other. Don't come here and disturb us, because if you disturb us, we will disturb you. Come and get down there, my friend. Stupid thing. Continue with what you're doing, my friend. Hey, Mimi, as I was saying, hmm. Mr. Azu came to meet me. He was telling me that he's going to hold a meeting. Do you know about it? No. Meeting for what? I think he wants to appoint his cabinet. And the way he spoke to me, I think he wants to appoint me as his assistant caretaker. Wait. Mr. Azu wants to appoint his cabinet. Nah, nah, nah. Eh, no. They've not even sworn him in officially. He's already appointing people. And you, why do you think he wants to make you his assistant? I don't understand why. I used to be a caretaker, caretaker emeritus for that matter. As in, when did you and Mr. Azu start working so closely that you will be his assistant? Did I just smell jealousy? Jealousy for what? <laughs> you're, you're already giving yourself such high hopes. See, as far as I'm concerned, it's too early for Mr. Azu to start appointing people. He has not even been officially made the caretaker and he's already appointing people. And then you, you're here raising high hopes, looking for assistant caretaker. I beg don't you people should not involve me in that rubbish show. Wait a Mimi, is it because you lost the election? Is that what is paining you? Hey! Huh. Ah, Mark! Hmm? Have you not been eating the food I've been giving you? So you, your neck all here has gone inside. Those boys inside there, they, they don't give person food. If you just carry your food and just enter, bam! They will collect it from you. Do you know that I've been the person that is washing toilet now? Hi. I have been telling them to change me, change me. Eh? Change me, put me in another cell. Nobody is answering me. Put me in another cell. This boss will kill me. It's until they keep me here. That is when they will know that uh, 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 I need to change cell. Don't worry, calm down, calm down. See here, don't worry. See here. There's something you're going to do. See To survive inside cell, eh? You need to make those people believe that you committed a very huge crime before coming to that place. I'm telling you, that, that's, that's the way it works inside cell. So once you can tell them, just think about any crime that is huge, that will, that will be mind-blowing. You tell them, hey, you, who knows, he might even become depressed too. Yes. It's all right. Yeah, I will fix that. Uh -huh. What is going on? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Azu won the election. Is it? Yes, Mr. Azu won the election. Mr. Azu won the election? Yes. Hey! Mr. You go to that cell now. Sorry, sorry. Please. Sorry. Mr. Azo won the election. Yes, he won the election. <laughs> that, is, that is what I want. Hey, that, that Mr. Azo has won the election. And, and Mr. Azo has not even uh, come here since I know that he has been busy. Hey, yes. 
He has not quit. He has not come here since after everything you did for him. You know he has been busy with the campaign. He Are will come. Sure? He will come now. He will. Uh, so Mr. Azo have won the election. Yes, that means we have win. All this my supper is not for in vain again. Yes. We have win. So that means he will definitely come and uh, remove you from no, Allah. <laughs> Please help me tell him congratulations yeah. when you get there. No problem. No problem. I'll talk to him. Yeah, right. So this is your food then. Eh? Please make sure you eat this food. I will yeah. try. Yeah. I will try. Yeah. I'll come and see you tomorrow. I'll bring him that food for you. It's alright. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Hey, Oga, there's the food. Oh, sorry. Okay. Good friend, thank you. Yeah, bye bye. You know? Hey, um, madam, please, can I eat this food? I bet we'll get inside this, sir. Let me just eat the food here. Yeah. Get inside, sergeant! Take him inside this, sir. And um, finally, a ban has been placed on the name Mark in this compound. Um, yes. Mark has been declared terrorist. And anybody seen or caught mentioning the name, whether in this compound or any of the landlord's compound, will pay the fine of 5,000 Naira. Yes, I don't want your opinion on this. Meanwhile, it has come to my notice that all of you, including people in other compounds, have been going to Twitter to write, bring back Mark. And just for me to go to Twitter to counter it, Twitter has the guts to delete my account. <laughs> Duly elected presidential candidate in the compound. Don't worry, I know what to do. Now, meanwhile, I am taking this very hard decision and I want all of you to abide by it. Everyone in this compound should stop the use of Twitter. Hey! I don't want to hear anything from you. Anybody caught using Twitter in this compound must join Mark. Secondly, I want to pass the bill of changing the name of this compound to UCR, United Compound Republic. <laughs> Lastly, no one from this compound or any of the landlord's compound is allowed to go and see Mark in the cell. Yes. Um, that is one part of this meeting. Let's go to the main reason why I called you guys. I want to announce to all of you that I have carefully selected the members of my cabinet. I mean the people that will rule with me. I'm sorry if you don't make the list. Um, Council, please proceed. Call out the list for them. <clears throat> Thank you, Honorable Sir. <clears throat> In no particular order, um, why your chair? You have been appointed uh, for the Minister of Finance. Uh, Mimi, yes, you have been appointed the Minister for Maintenance and uh, Logistics. And um, based then here, you have been appointed as the National Caretaker Assistant. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Congratulations, all of you. Uh, please, I want you all to work hard. My swearing in is coming up next week. You can all go. Mr. Azu. Honorable caretaker. I will pardon you. Um, I want to congratulate you on your victory for winning the election and for being so kind to want to share positions to everybody. But please, I am not interested in your administration. Thank you. Anyway, it's all right. I love her. I know how to handle her. Um, the rest you can go. But then please wait for me. Council, excuse me. <laughs> go, I am the, the main man. <laughs> we want to of <laughs> minds. <laughs> I see you are excited. <laughs> I'm very much excited though, because I never experienced it. <laughs> Don't think that I like you. I only make you my vice caretaker, just to bring my enemies close. What brought you here, Zef? 
You stole SIM card. SIM card, just like that. Hey, boy, you won't be here. It's a long story. A very long story. What happened? Hmm. Me and my men, we went to rob. Okay. After robbing, you robbing the bank. The, the robbery was successful. Okay. 150 million naira was what we robbed. <laughs> After robbing the bank, I now went and hit the, the, the money. You know, they shot all my men. Then some soldiers now came, they wanted to, the soldiers wanted to, to, to challenge me. And I shot all of them. I shot eight soldiers. On oh, fire! <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. See, after shooting the eight soldiers, it was now a force that they now use and now catch me. Plane was just going up and that. 14 plane. But the money, the money. Tell me, just go straight. What about the money? What happened to the money? I hid it. The money is still somewhere. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know that I have the money. No, wait. Maybe I'm not getting this thing clearly. And you are trying to tell us that the money is still in your possession. I hid it somewhere. As I live here now, I will just go and carry the money. Bagram. Bagram. It's a lot of... See, look, as I, I, I'm even looking for men. I'm looking for men because they have killed all my men. I'm looking for me. I am the um, Inspector General of Police. Yeah. He's working my case now. He wants me to come out. Are you serious? Yes, yes because my uncle, my uncle is his friend. <laughs> so, <laughs> look, I'm looking for more men. As I come out from here now, eh, I need people that will help me to, you know, hide the money and help me to run things. Mark, you should have told me all this thing now. I, I, maybe I wouldn't have been ordered you around. Nevertheless, see, what are we for? I am ready to help you whichever way. Yes. I will give you 10 million. You, I will give you 15 million. <laughs> you. you give me, you give me. I will give you 5 million. <laughs> eh? I like what is doing me. Somebody should find me. Somebody should find me. He is doing me. <laughs> see, you see in this cell, uh, eh? I, I am the second in command. In fact, I'm supposed to be the boss, but I, I, when he came in, I looked at him and I said, no, let me give him the boss. But see, from now henceforth, eh, just anything you say, we'll do it. Hmm? Find him, find him. 15 million. <laughs> <laughs> Once I just leave this cell now, eh, I will just go and prepare you people's money. If you leave before me, I will tell you what to do. I have some rockets in the sky. As it is now, this Nigeria now, if I just make a call, if I make a call, they will just run, launch rockets. I have some 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 um, rocket that I'm not using. It's mine. all right. I'm hit is doing me family. <laughs> Good afternoon. I found will you shake me two hand. <sighs> I've changed my mind. What do you want? <laughs> hmm, okay, um actually. I know you as a man of justice. Mm? After everything that has happened, and after all the election, I, 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 I'm surprised that you have not still come to see Mark in the cell. What did you just say? Did you just mention that name, yeah? Wait, have you not heard? I stopped everybody from mentioning that thing in this compound. Why did you mention that in this compound? Are you okay, everyone? Why did you mention that death in this compound? Get down, let me tell you, you will show you plenty of fine. I've stopped everybody from mentioning that name in this compound. Women have mentioned that in this compound, you pay a fine of 5,000 naira. The man is just mentioned thing in this compound, you pay the fine. Uh, 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 honorable, honorable, what is happening? Can you imagine the man came into this compound and just mentioned thing? Kebran, eh? did you mention thing? What is thing? I didn't mention thing. I only said Mark. Hey! You, you can't get hey! to him. Kebran, you mentioned what? Hey! Abomination. No, no, you gotta hear him. He mentioned things. On, Listen now, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm a good friend. Since the brand, what I love you, you must only pay on the fight. You put your time, open your death, you must. I'm a good friend. You put on the fight. Doctor, sit in. Sit in while I love you, dude. What's going on here? Eh? I'm a good friend. Since the brand. Then what? Fine. You see him. But then I said, since the brand, take him straight to my room. I see you right now. Come on. From this compound now, whether you're from this compound or not, as long as you pay the, as long as you pay the law, you will surely pay the fine. Seize him immediately. Uh, uh, Kebran, just allow me to seize you. Eh? Just, just. I don't. No, I said, I said, seize Kebran. Take him to my room. Just let me seize you. Just, What's going on? I don't. Just, let me. I don't understand. Take Kebran to my room. I'm taking him. 
Nonsense! Thank you for watching that episode of Kataka series. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to come back here tomorrow and watch Mr. Lawrence Family Show. And also go to our other channel, the Mackenzie Comedy channel, to watch the video we have for you today. And please, please, we need to hit the 1 million subscribers here on Mackenzie TV. So please subscribe to Mackenzie TV. Subscribe, please. I'm begging you. Tell your family, tell your friends to subscribe to Mackenzie TV. All right. Now, I know you'll be thinking of where to trade your cryptocurrencies. Mm, guess what? Search no more. I have something awesome for you. Mac is the best person to sell your cryptocurrencies to. All right? So in order to do that, go to www.macangelexchange.com because they are fast and they are reliable and you will enjoy doing business with us. See you as you come to trade your cryptocurrencies.